So, in this lecture, we will start with a new topic that is system. By now, we have discussed in detail about signals, types of signals, operation on signals, etcetera. So, now we will be discussing about a system which is an integral part of this overall subject digital signal processing. So, we are moving in this way that we have initially started with signals, specially digital signals we have focused on different operations on digital signals. Now, that signal will be fed to a system and that system will process the signal. So, that is about the subject of you know digital signal, it is about the subject digital signal processing. So, digital signal will be fed to a system that will be processed and you get the output. So, likewise what will be a what will be a standard definition of a system? So, system is basically again a physical entity which takes input in one form and gives in output in that form only or it can give the output in other form also depending on the you know type of application rather. So, basically a system is a physical entity which takes some input gives some output. In our case as we are dealing with digital signals, so our system will be a discrete time system. So, this system that we are going to consider now onwards will be a discrete time system. That means, it takes discrete time signals as inputs and it produces discrete time signal as output. So, for a continuous time signal or continuous time system, it takes continuous time signals as inputs and gives continuous time signals as output. So, basically system is nothing but an entity, you can think of a box where you give some input in some form and you get the output normally or generally in the same form. So, in our case the system is a discrete time system as we have already mentioned. Now, there the input normally is termed as excitation or the system is excited and once the system is excited it has got its own there is one very technical term called transfer function or it is basically the functionality or the property of the system which with which with that functionality it works on that excitation and it produces its own output or which is generally termed as a response. These are the technical terms that a system is excited and according to that excitation, it produces a response of its own. So, this example I have given in earlier lectures also that this camera that is recording this lecture that is basically a system. So, the signal that is generated by this lecture that means my voice signal and the picture signal, these are the inputs to the camera that is the system here that camera processes the signal and it produces an output that is visible at the TV screen or the computer screen. So, that is how the pro it, it goes. So, a system is basically again it is an entity or you know combination of different for an electronic system specifically as we are discussing electronic system. So, it, it is basically a connection of number of electronic devices, discrete devices or it can be a single electronic device or it can be a single electronic chip or integrated chip which is basically a combination of huge number of discrete devices. So, it can be a single discrete device, a system can be you know connection of number of electronic devices, but together it is an entity which takes some input or some excitation and according to that based on that excitation and based on its own functionality or transfer function, it produces an output 
or a response. So basically, we have you know uh, by now we have discussed about a system which basically takes an input in one form and produces an output in the same form generally. That means this x input or excitation is given to the system and output or response is taken out of the system. The system works in between. Now in our case, this is discrete time system about which we will be discussing more in detail in the next lecture.